Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Team Bandy the Ink Machine will consist of Bandy, Boris, Ampers, and Alice Angel. Bandy was the first creation of the Ink Machine, a supernatural machine that could bring cartoon characters to life. As no soul was used in his creation, Bandy was born in perfect, becoming a monster that went on to terrorize the world beneath the leaders to zero. Later, Bandy is trapped within a smaller form but manages to shift back into his former self. Boris supports Henry trying to help him to reach the exit. It's also revealed that there is a large amount of Boris clone vampires and that they will all kill by Alice, the version of the character Alice Angel, who is trying to achieve perfection using a creature in Earth. Boris then gets captured by Alice after the Amphers and Henry survive the fall down an elevator shaft. After being captured by Alice Angel, he became free for it, but right after he confronts Henry, he gets quickly killed by him. Alice Angel is the main rival of the Ink Demon himself. Seemingly possessing the soul of Susie Candle, Alice has been lost her sense of self, become Alice Angel both physically and percent mentally. Now, she harvests organs from imperfect Boris clones in order to keep her form together. For Bendy, the cosmology of Bendy has multiple universes in it. The keepers came to the Ink Machine, which made the cosmology. Wilson made something powerful beyond anybody, including the keepers that got overpowered by Bendy. The cycle is able to go and first and event. The cycle is also an infinite sized universe with its own unconventional system of time. The illusion of living is said to be able to merge the cycle three well together, making him low multiversal level. For Boris, he scales to Henry, who survived getting sniped through a metal, making things small building level. For Alice, she easily overpowered a Boris. For Bendy, he can move in the cycle and first and have an impact on the cosmos, which is timeless. He easily blitz and first and one shot Audrey Group, who is considered a master. The master can fill the cycle and first and likely all of its iterations into the real world, making him immeasurable. For Boris, he completely out and Henry, he threw a theme park car it reached Henry in a few seconds. He can even jump just that part, making him superhuman. For Alice, she should be comparable to Alice and Angel, who can keep up with Henry, who does through Boris. For Bendy, as his cartoon self, he has a very childish demeanor but can understand speech and percent register danger. As the ink team, he is capable of speech and percent shows some level of strategy. He manipulated Henry into activating the ink machine. For Boris, he thinks normally but sometimes can act more intelligently. For Alice, she was able to understand the ink physiology better than anyone else, to the point where she can perform surgeries on other ink creatures and percent could create her own human to fight for her out of other ink creatures' body parts. Bendy. If someone is able to get rid of a lot of the ink, then he won't regenerate. If he sees the end cave, it will have a meltdown and percent just disappear. For Boris, normal Boris is afraid of the dark his first self chest is open so it's very much more vulnerable than any other part of the body. For Alice, she is mentally emotionally unstable. Overall, even with those flaws, being Bendy is still very deadly and first and very dangerous. Slenderman is a malevolent demonic entity and percent urban legend who psychologically traumatizes his victims before abducting them and fusing them with the trees in his forest. Four high school friends decide to summon Slenderman after overhearing some of their male friends aiming to do so. Unbeknownst to them, they would end up chickening out of fear. After the four girls watch a video on a site dedicated to the monster, 
KT ends up disappearing a week later. A week after the disappearance, the remaining girls investigate her room, discovering that she was researching the Slenderman prayer. He easily toppled a tree upon his awakening, making him low level. His tentacles can rush average people before they react, even when they try to run, making him superhuman. He is never shown to take any damage and percent is made of bioelectricity. Slenderman's primary method of tormenting people is psychological, driving them insane with horrific visions. Overall, this version of the Slenderman isn't the strongest, but he still has some powerful abilities. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. I feel like a broken record when I do this since I've done this many times in older episodes, but I have to do this, it's another stump. Team Bendy is just too powerful thanks to the likes of Bendy being in the team. Without him, Slenderman could have an easier fight thanks to his abilities, but he will still lose due to being weaker. Not to mention that Alice Angel is also far smarter than Slenderman. Now, if you want to see a final face-off with Bendy going up against the Administrator, let me know through the voting poll. Next time on Total Fight Time.